All right, HRL Season 7. Last moto here to uh, finish this off. La Do it again. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to try to figure out what the points are going into this. So I think it's Luke with 77, Fireball with 70. Uh, wait, is that right? Yes. Um, detail with... I'm doing this on the, off the top of my head. 72. Um, Roman with 68. And Slaunch has now fallen down to 69. So still just barely ahead of Roman. But I think that this championship battle is definitely... It's Luke's to lose. And Fireball and Detail are probably the ones there. Uh, I think Slaunch and Roman are a little too far out at this point. So Luke has to have a really bad moto. And Fireball and Detail need to win. That's the only way they could pull this off. And the more likely person to do it is... I think they said Detail had more points than Fireball, right? So... He's the more likely person to do it. Anyways, um, are you ready to go here? Uh, here we go. Three, two, one, go. And watch this in the back. Fireball's stuck. Fireball's stuck <laughs> to save him. Oh, shit. Perfect reverse. <laughs> Alright, and now we're going to start the race. By the way, watch my start. It's hilarious because I get a good start, but I just get conked by everybody. And into the details back. Five wide. This is going to be good. Somebody's going to go down. Double three wides, four wides. Looks like Fireball with the rough start. Oh, that... Oh, Justin, I'm going to do a replay. You can just pause your film. I'm going to do a replay on this one. Uh, Vulcan d does possibly the conkiest move I've ever seen. Hold on. Let's see if I can find him. It says he's Camby. So let's watch Vulcan here. This is the conkiest thing I've ever seen. Takes the inside. Oh my god, there's too many people conking for it to get a good view. Takes the inside, and yeah, can be Yaddle, fudge you guys. Rip. Um, Alright, Justin, what time are you at? 6.31. Okay. Uh, 3, 2, 1, go. And we're back. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Looks like a... Who's in the early lead? Uh, Armada, right? Yep. So Armada... Armada. Oh, look at that Armada. fat battle. <laughs> the two purple Armada. cucks and Roman and Justin and Hunter. Oh, God. Ooh, looks like Roman's going to get the advantage. Yeah, I got Three wide into the sand, dude. God, Oh, and this is looking good. Uh, Ramda first, Hunter second, Roman third, Luke already up to fourth. And then I'm going to conk it, spoiler alert. Fireball in fifth, though. Trying to make a move on Fireball there, one of the purple cucks. I couldn't tell who it was exactly. Probably Slaunch, judging by that line. Actually, that might have been Vulcan. I think it, no, it wasn't. And then conking. Rip Slaunch and rip myself. And rip... Oh my god! Dude! Jesus! Is that crash of the season right there? That was intense. So now, this makes it interesting. So we have the points leader now all the way in second to last. So now that actually makes things interesting here. We could see uh, a points battle in this last race. So basically, it went from all pressure off of Luke and onto everybody else, and now all pressure on him, because Roman and Fireball are up there. Detail's uh, not too far up there, but he's ahead of him, so um, that makes that's going to make things very interesting, for sure. Oh, Detail with that move on Slaunch, or uh, Vulcan, they're having a great battle. Roman and Hunter, also a great battle for second. Oh, yeah, I see that. Coming out of the sand. Armada's doing a good job holding the lead so far. He's actually running really well. Look at that sand section. Oof. Everybody's cheesing right there. Nice moves, Justin. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get conked soon. Isn't this where Vulcan conks everybody? I'm about to... Yup. I'm about to have to do another fucking replay. Watch this shit. And Vulcan with the conkening. With the conkening. Suplexes detail. And you get conked as well. So Rip, at this point, it's basically Fireball and Luke. Because Fireball's ahead of Roman, and he's just behind him in the race. 
but Fireball has enough of a points gap to where I think he has the advantage. Um, and uh, I think it's safe to say details out of it. I mean, he would have to pull a masterful comeback here. And he did a gr he did a great comeback in the first race, but I don't think it's just good, too much to do at this point. He just three, so, yeah. Starting it, but it's going to take a lot. So now it's Hunter. Hunter might have... Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the Jokers. I think Hunter took Joker, I'm assuming. Fuck, dude, I should have been paying attention to that. Oh, well. So the start of the comeback effort, Luke's now by Camby, Detail, and Sector, but we still have Hunter in the lead, Armada is still in second, and then we have Slaunch in third, and then Fireball right there in fourth, Roman stuck in sixth. So it, Fireball is the one you want to watch here, because if anybody's going to take this championship from Luke, it is going to be Fireball, so um, that's going to be the battle. Oh, close there in the sand section. Bro, this top five is amazing right now. As it has been all night. And we'll have to... I think Hunter might have been the only person who uses Joker, I'm guessing. So, we'll have to keep track of the Joker usages for the rest of this race. Oh, Fireball. Nice run. Fireball's really good in that sand section. That's what's keeping him on this race. He's definitely... Oh, who just went... Armada, no! Rip! And who's going to take their Joker? Somebody will. Fireball's going to take it... Th Oh, he's going to get the lead, bro. He's going to get the lead. Oh! Oh, my God! It's so close! What a perfect Joker usage. Everything's... The stars are aligning. Fireball in the lead with the Joker usage. The stars are aligning. That's it. That's exact. Oh, I used my Joker as well. So, now Luke's used his Joker and is into fourth place with that Joker usage. But, you also got to think... Um, Slaunch is ahead of him... Slaunch used his Joker too, right? I think he did. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know about Roman. I don't know about Roman or Vulcan, but I'm pretty sure Slaunch did. Chat, help me out. I've lost track. Detail's yeah, still. Chat, <laughs> Detail's still trying to get our buy Armada, so yeah, he. I bet he'll come back for a top five, but his hopes at the at the championship probably over at this point. Just way too bad of a start here in the second moto. The starts. Starts not, that's really what fudged him up here in the Rallycross. The starts were not his starts, and I think if he was getting normal detail starts on the Rallycross, he he could have damn well swept this track with how fast he was, but, uh, oh well. Too rip, too late. Look at this nice pack. Oh, Vulcan spinning it out. Ripperoni. Of course. Hunter and Fire or a Hunter and Slaunch, Slaunch right in his bumper, and Luke's right there as well. So this is a pivotal battle here because Fireball needs, uh, Fireball needs these two people to stay in front of him. Especially, oh, there it is, Detail and Armada using their Jokers. They're gonna come out in front of Vulcan. So they're not too far. They're not as bad behind. Oh, there goes Roman potentially for the lead. He used his Joker. I missed it. Oh, he's he's not gonna get it though. So close. He almost had it. And if, uh, if you're Luke right now, you're hoping, uh, you're rooting for Roman, because if Roman took that lead from Fireball, uh, Roman definitely has the less chance of taking this championship, so Fireball with the chip on his shoulder here, and so far performing well under pressure. Ooh, Solange into that pole, and that might be Ripperoni. Luke might, not, might be able to take the spot from him. So let's watch the sand section, because this is a pretty big points battle here. Going to be different lines. Who's going to get the advantage? Very close. Oh, Hunter, though, in front is going to play a role. So now it's going to be side by side yet again. Let's see the lines in the sand section. He's good. Oh, contact. But Luke's going to hold on to the spot. That was pretty close. Solid battles here for these top spots. He did. Wait, who did? Was I talking about Vulcan? I already forgot. All right, um, so now it's going to be Fireball with the lead. He's got a pretty solid lead on Roman, but not, like, gone with the race. Still workable. And then we have all these people right here. Luke, Slaunch, Detail, Hunter, and Vulcan all very close. And this is not what you want to see if you're Fireball, because um, I think Luke's got it right now with the points. Uh, Slaunch, Detail, they're going to need to step it up. Hunter, even Vulcan. Um, I think Luke needs to finish, like, assuming Fireball wins... I think Luke needs to finish outside of the top five, so that's what we're looking for here. Oh, yeah. I think. I'm just doing math in my head. I might be wrong. Actually, let me think about it. Yes, outside the top five. 
And that's that's for the tie as well, um, which I think I'm not sure who would have the tiebreaker. I don't know if it goes by overall or if it goes by Moto wins first, because it could it could go either way. We've never had a tiebreaker like that. Yep, still a good battle here. Yep, very close. And big two, if you're Fireball or Roman, you're rooting for this battle. Slaunch with the poor run off the end of the sand section, though. But who's going to get the better run through the chicane? I think both of them ran that. Ah, that was pretty even. Like, I don't think either of them really ran that particularly well. Mm. Fucking pool noodles, dude. God. Right. We need more pool noodles. Stop. Don't even talk to real deal. The thing that... Uh, dude, don't. Please don't shout him out. Please. Do keep talking in your mouth, though, so everybody can hear you. God. Jesus Christ. The interesting thing about this track, though, that I like about it... Oh, Slaunch just cheesed it. There goes the battle with Luke. This is very bad for, uh, for Roman and Fireball, because that was probably the last chance, unless another big mistake comes out. But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, the thing that I like about this track is that even though, like, there's people that are fast and, like, there's a lot of people that are fast here, I think, like, every fast person runs a little bit different of a line. Like, I don't think any of the top five are running the exact same line. Oh, Detail might have the spot on Slaunch here. Makes the pass. Oh! He ran that too hard. Slaunch might be able to get back on the outside. Detail needs this position. Oh, Vulcan with the conking! No, not gonna happen. So detail with that spot. That's you. And Slaunch is done at this point. His, he's eliminated. His finals hopes are. Oh yeah. His finals hopes are over. Details are likely over. Roman and Fireball still have a sliver of hope if Luke makes a big mistake. But overall, Justin, what would you? I know we're. I know there's still a little bit of time left, but. What would you rate this Grand Finals so far? How do you think this stacks up with the rest of them? Jesus. Yeah, I'd agree. Like, this is... I think this has been... I feel like the Grand Finals gets better every year. And... Oh, rip Vulcan. Uh, I feel like it gets better every year, and I don't think that's any uh, different this year. I... Even though it's not my, it wasn't my favorite track pool, I genuinely think that the races worked out really well. Like the, I, I think the weakest race was probably the Supercross, but all the races were good. You know what I mean? Like there wasn't a bad race. To relax. Oh my God! That's what I'm saying. I, overall. I think that <sighs> Beckham Moto 2 was probably the best moto, and Beckham might have been the best race overall. I'd say this was very close behind it. Uh, if the Moto 2 for this was closer, then I think that it would have been a closer battle between the two, like which was more entertaining. Like if this Moto 2 battle, if there wasn't, there was so much cheese between the top people that were competing for like the championship that it, it separated them so much you know what i mean the first moto was a lot better of a, of a show of skill between those drivers because there wasn't as much there was still cheese but there wasn't as much as there was in this moto this moto there was a lot for all of them but anyways what time yo shit are we what time do we start i think that we're close to the end here Fuck, uh, dude, I don't remember. I think that it's two to go next, or this time by, I think. It's either already white flag or it's two to go this time by. My bet is on two to go this time by. Or let me check my time on OB. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be two to go this time by. Yep, Fireball's got a pretty thick lead. Roman's got a pretty thick lead on third. And then Luke's got a pretty thick lead on Detail. Detail has less of a thick lead on... Oh, okay, never mind. Slaunch cheeses it. Bro, that could be... Vulcan might be able to compete for this spot as well. Slaunch is really cheesing this race out here. Vulcan with the complete track cut right there. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> it was bad. Oh, Vulcan, go over the conk! Oh my god, he did it! Vulcan did it! Oh my goodness. 
all falling apart. Oh my goodness, all falling apart here for Slaunch on the Rallycross. Wow, I'm impressed with Vulcan though. That was actually a good move. It was conky, but that was a. Fr to be fair, they came out of the sand section clean. Like he didn't take out Slaunch. Slaunch took out himself on the on the chicane. Towards the end of the race, too, with few laps remaining. So we're coming... I think it's two to go, but I could be wrong. So we'll see how it ends up here. It's either two to go or three to go. But the race is definitely spacing out at this point, especially with that conkening. That might be the last... I'm going to watch Hunter and Armada, because they're having a great battle, and I just want to watch a battle. But overall, a pretty good last moto for, uh, you know, for the last Grand Finals here. Uh, or for the last race of the Grand Finals, capping it off on a nice note. I, I liked the switch up this season, uh, switching up the order of the races. I think we should do that every season, just to make things interesting. Justin, any, uh, well, we're, we're still a few laps to go, but any final thoughts? Uh, I, don't, I don't like this track. God. <laughs> All right, well, that's uh, your final thoughts. We should have Mir Billis as the Grand Finals Rallycross next season. You know how sexy that would be? Mm. Mm. Oh my god, Jared. Yeah, he would yiz even though he wouldn't be racing in it. So we're coming here. This is either White Flag or the end of the race. Let's see. That was it. Fireball takes the win. Roman second, Luke third. And Detail going to come across the line in fourth. And Vulcan going to take 5th. Slaunch going to take 6th. And Hunter going to win out that battle, taking 7th over Armada in 8th. Can be in ninth and Real, Real Sector in 10th. So I'm going to pull up. It's not going to be the completely updated stats, but I'm going to pull them up on stream. So all this... Wait, what? Stop. Stop. Uh, later. Later. Um, I'll tell you about that in a second. But anyways, just relax. Relax. All right. So here we go. Here's how the points ended up. Luke ends up becoming the Grand Finals champion. The first to win two Grand Finals, which was close because Fireball, who was second, also was competing for that. Detail was also competing for that as well. So um, that was a close. That was a very close Grand Finals overall. Um, so it's going to be 91. This is kind of usually how it goes. A classic three-point gap uh, for the win there. Um, Fireball is three points behind, and then Detail is three points behind Fireball. Roman ends up finishing four points behind Detail, and then Roman beats out Slaunch by one point with his, his best Grand Finals performance yet. Um, still not quite there up to the top spot, but definitely improving. Um, and then Slaunch with the fifth, Vulcan with the sixth, with 60, uh, Real Deal with the seventh, Real, Real Deal plus Sector with the seventh, with 58. Hunter with the... Right now, I have to decide who this tiebreaker is. I'm not 100% sure, but right now it's Hunter 8th with 55, Armada tied 9th with 55, and Canby 10th with 44. So, look at how close those points were, man. That was insane. It really could have went to anybody in the top 5, and those other positions could have went to anybody as well. So, um, that was a pretty good Grand Finals. Also, new... Uh, this is the first time a Grand Finals has been won by somebody without an overall in the Grand Finals, so that's new. Oh. That's actually a new th That's never happened before, so. History in the making, as per usual. Yeah, Always something different. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's going to cap it off. These results might change slightly after I review the films and see if there's any penalties. Likely they won't change that much, but they might change slightly. So be sure to check back in, in a day or so. Yeah, in a day or so, check back. <laughs> um, but anyways, Justin, any like final closing thoughts on this uh, this Grand Finals? I like dots. Did you say I like dots or thoughts? Dots. Jesus. Anyways. <laughs> God, Justin. I'm going to ban you. Uh, say something racist to end... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stop! No, don't! But uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, ending off here at the Rally Cross, that is the conclusion of our... Which Grand Finals is this? Uh, the fifth running? Let me think. No, it's the sixth. That's the conclusion of our sixth Grand Finals. 
um, for HRL Halo 5, and it was a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. All right, Justin, final, final, st God, I'm getting the hiccups. Final stuff. <coughs> Jesus. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clip that and send that to Matt. All right. Um, so to end this off, like final little like question things. Um, who do you or not? Who do you? Uh, what? Which race or particularly which moto was the best moto for you out of the whole grand finals? What? Oh shit! Like, uh, which one was? One. Which one was the most entertaining? Most entertaining. Uh, maybe the uh, the second. Which one? First or second? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna agree on that. Uh, most exciting overall race. overall race. Both motos combined, Pete's everything. The first one, okay. Yeah. Interestingly, all right. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with this one. The points were on the line. It was pretty. The moto two got a little separated at the end, but you know. I feel like if we had, next season, we're going to have longer motos. Okay, spoiler alert. And I feel like if we had these for this Grand Finals, I think we would have had some freaking, we, we did anyways, but I think we would have had some legendary races. You know what I mean? Like, imagine if that Moto 2 was 15 minutes and I had the time to make the comeback after that fuck up. Or imagine if, imagine if Moto 1 of this was longer and maybe Fireball and Detail could have made their fat gains and got up to the front or... You know, if the if the Supercross motos were longer, um, that first place battle in the second one probably would have been really good because Fireball is making gains. So, oh, yeah. if we had the longer motos, I think it would have been even crazier. But, oh well. Just have to wait till next season. Uh, so last thing, who are you most impressed with in this Grand Finals? I'm actually going to agree with that. Any other thoughts on it, though? Uh, I was kind of slouch, too. You know, he, he didn't get caught too much. Even though he had his worst Grand Finals finish of all time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hitting you with the facts. Actually, that might not be true, but it also... I think it is. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to... I'm actually going to agree with you. I'm going to go Fireball as the one who I'm most impressed with because he had a pretty lackluster season, um, but I think he definitely brought it back here with the Grand Finals. Like He showed that he can still do it when he's not being a little 15-year-old iPad parents prawn-watching retard. Um, so when he's, you know, when he's not doing that um, and thinking he's good at Halo jumping and uh, sucking Booba Doo Boo's dick, I, I think he's a pretty decent racer when he's not doing any of those things. Um... <laughs> So I'd actually agree with that. I'm most impressed with him. He he was almost able to pull it off. If he didn't do so shitty on Beckham, he could have he might have actually done it. He might have won the whole thing. So that was the that was the difference maker because you go through the overall finishes. Uh Luke got second overall every single round. Fireball got third tied with Luke on the first one, so that's basically the same. But then Fireball got fifth, five points behind Luke on Beckham. Um, and then Fireball gets first on Trepin, uh, Trepinvitz, two points ahead of Luke. So I, I think Beckham was clearly where Fireball lost it. Which is surprising to me, because that's actually GP... The GP track was the reason he won his last Grand Finals. It was his Kryptonite on this one. So that was a little switch up right there. Uh, so who were you... Uh, so I said most impressed with... Who were you expecting... <laughs> who are you putting under the bus? Who were you expecting more out of? I'll put your mic back in your throat, by the way. Deep throat it. Alright, there you go. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you on that one again. I want to be interesting and have a different stance, but I think Real Deal is like the obvious choice there. Even though I, I do feel like some of those conkenings he couldn't have done anything about. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like, especially in that first moto in Beckham, he ran the best race he could have ran, and, yeah. like, just got conked by the track. There's nothing you could do about that. Not even by the track, just Halo physics. Like, those wrecks were dumb. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's, like, that's the easy choice there. 
Um, and I'm sure he's probably feeling the same way. I think he's going to come back. I'm, I'm predicting Real Deal right now to win the Season 9 Grand Finals. Deadass. I'm... <laughs> no, no, really, all he has to do... I think he'll do good. I think he would have done good on the Rallycross. I think he'll do good on the GP and the Rallycross next Grand Finals. He just needs to have a decent Supercross, and he'll win it. If he finishes 5th-5th fifth, fifth on the Supercross, I think he can win it all. But he needs to. Like, if he doesn't have... Let, let's say he just gets one good Supercross moto. He gets a third, and then finishes 5th in the other one. That might be enough. So, anyways, I'm going to sign it off here. Thanks for joining me, Colored Commentator. Oh, yeah. And Oval Series is coming... HRL is coming back on... Let me check. I gotta check my Yalanda. It's going to come back August 10th. No, <laughs> shut the fuck up. August 10th is going to be when the HRL comes back with the Oval Series. And that's when we're going to start into... We're going to start getting into our experimental seasons, which is going to be fun as hell. Um... I think uh, stop. Not that experimental. What? Not that experimental, but I think it's gonna be fun. The Oval Series probably gonna be some of the most fun that I've had on Halo Five. I bet. Early predictions: Who's gonna win the championship in the Oval Series, Justin? Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure. I agree. Yeah, the pick one though, you cuck. All right, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Roman. I think Roman gets his first championship in the Oval Series. And my reasoning behind that is Roman, when he has a bad oval race, it's like a fifth. When Slaunch has a bad oval race, it's like a thirteenth. <laughs> That's the entire reason why I think Roman's just gonna be the most consistent the entire season. He'll probably get like one win, maybe two, um, but I think he's just gonna be really consistent, and that'll be the difference. All right, so I'm ending it off there. Thanks for joining me, Justin, uh, and everybody in the strum. Bonner, Bonner. I'm black. I'm black.